Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Mooch News for the week of March 25th. Yeah, a little bit late this week, but it has been insanity with stuff going on behind the scenes. No big drama, nothing really bad, just uh, crazy busy. Uh, I took two weeks off recently from work, my day job, to be able to just see what it'd be like and how much I could do in terms of testing. Uh, I think it was like seven cells, four videos, and then all the background research and uh, the messages I answer every day and stuff like that. But this week I pay the price with trying to catch up on work and everything else. But let's get to the news real quick. Um, the home tech, Sherlock Home 2700, tested that last week. It's better than the iJoy 4 leg, but it's, it's not nearly as good as the iJoy 5 leg or the Key Power eBat eFest, the other 5 leg top contact batteries, uh, 2700. So those would be the better choice uh, if you have an option on that. Uh, also, uh, Home Tech says you do not use their pulse rating. It's a 40 point something, I think, for the pulse rating for that, 47 amps. They say do not use it. And for the you vendors, and I've mentioned this in the test report, but for vendors who are thinking about carrying Home Tech, double check with them and, and have your attorney contact them and check the paperwork because in their terms and condition on the website, it says these batteries are not supported where there is not a battery management system or the equivalent in the device. And that would be unregulated and mech devices. So there may be no warranty for home tech batteries if you use them or, or if one of your customers uses them in an unregulated or mechanical device. Uh, still in the testing queue, uh, the Black Cell, I'm checking my notes here, 30 amp 4000 MAH 2700, the 40 amp 3800 MAH 21700, the EFS 35 amp 3700 MAH 21700, and I got in VTC 5D. I don't know what these are for, where they're from, or anything, or their ratings. I'm sure they're somewhere in the VTC range, 25 amp, 20 amp. So I'll be testing these soon in addition to the other ones. Yesterday, I put up a battery, your favorite battery company poll. And in my mind, it was, hey, what battery do you use the most? Which company is that? I don't think it came across that way to a lot of people because some of the votes were for just uh, a company's batteries they'd like to use or a battery company, a new battery company they wanted to support, but one case didn't even have any batteries on the market yet. So I, I don't think a lot of the answers accurately reflect what's going on there, especially considering how many people contact me about rewrap batteries and their ratings, particularly from Asia and in a lot of other countries outside the US and Europe. And they weren't, there were very few entries of that, people saying that was their favorite. And I wanted to know what you're actually using, so I didn't phrase it well. I'm going to do another poll asking about specific batteries you use. I don't want to convert people, have people afraid to say what they're using. I want to get a snapshot of what our community is using and, and see which is popular and which aren't. But I'll, I'll mention this all on my post. Uh, the Samsung 30T, the unicorn sale, hopefully mid-May, maybe end of May. But there are a lot of sales coming to market soon that are going to be coming from distributors who cannot sell to vapors. The Samsung or Sony or LG are saying to them, do not sell to vapors or you're not going to be able to carry our cells. We're not going to sell to you. So I may be testing rewrap batteries coming out, but I will not be able to tell you what this battery is or what they're rewrapping. I'll show you how it compares to other cells. You'll be able to see how well it performs and everything and then make a choice. But I'm not gonna say, oh, it's a Samsung 50G. Because if that gets out, if Samsung finds out, that distributor could be disallowed from selling that battery and now we don't have access to it anymore. I'm also gonna ask the community not to say, oh, I know what it is. And then you put that down there. No, just privately message your friends, buy the batteries, and, and just be happy in knowing you knew what it is a rewrap of. And I'm going to ask the community of that, just so our community can still have access to these batteries. These manufacturers are cracking down. We cannot just go saying, hey, here's a 30T rewrap. Buy this. We'll never have access to that battery again. So this will be in the posts and in the test report. So I want to start bringing this up now so it starts getting around to the community. Heard you loud and clear, 3000 mAh battery teardown. I will be doing that. Um, rewiring some things here in the new test station. Yes, a new video for that too. Just trying to catch up with everything else. But we'll tear down that, maybe tear down some lipos after that and, and go into some more, get out of the classroom and, and into some more fun kind of stuff. And we'll see where that takes us and, and uh, let me know with your feedback as I go along and do these videos. That is everything for this week. Thank you for watching.